As we track global environmental trends here at the Earth Policy Institute, it's clear that we're getting close to the edge, getting close to the point of no return. If someone had told me in early 2010 that in July, the average temperature in Moscow would be 14 degrees above normal for the month, I would have found that very difficult to accept. And yet that's exactly what happened. But what if, what if that heat wave had been centered not in Moscow, but in Chicago? Russia produces 100 million tons of grain. It lost 40 million tons because of the heat wave. And the world lost 40 million tons of grain. But if that were to happen in Chicago, if the temperature in July in Chicago were 14 degrees above the norm, we would lose at least 40% of the U.S. grain crop. That's 160 million tons. <clears throat> if that were to happen in Chicago instead of Moscow, and we lost 40% of our grain harvest of 400 million tons, the world would lose 160 million tons. If the Moscow heat wave had been in Chicago instead, there would be chaos in world grain markets. World carryover stocks of grain, the amount of grain that's in the bin when the new harvest begins for 2011 would have been at the lowest level on record, lower even than the level that triggered the tripling of world grain prices in 2007 and 2008.